Hi everybody, it's Liv here. We're going to be looking at home composting. So I thought I'd show you how I compost at home because it will be very similar to how we are planning to introduce composting to Curtin University. So the way I compost is I have these really big, how many kilograms? Two kilogram yogurt containers. Um, they're probably like a year or two old at this point. And we keep them on our counter, we've got two. Um, on our counter and we fill them up with all of our kitchen scraps as we're making food and when both of them are completely full then we take them out to the compost bin. You can buy really nice expensive bougie aesthetic ones um, but they're like 50 or 100 dollars so in the most sustainable way we used what we currently already had. So that's what we do. I've got a cucumber here that is just off it's completely off so we're going to cut it up nice and small the smaller you cut or break something up the quicker and easier it will compost generally i just do no normal vegetables in the compost bin and then some eggshells however things like garlic and onion and citrus foods can sometimes throw off the balance of your compost bin so just be careful about how much you're putting in there i'd also just be aware things like peels like avocado peels especially for me, pips and things like eggshells tend to take a really long time to decompose. So normally what I do by the time everything else in my compost bin is decomposed, that's generally what's left and it hasn't decomposed yet. So when my compost bin is finished, I'll scoop everything out but leave all of those peels and a little bit of compost left because that'll start a really nice new compost and I'll just continually reuse that and redo it, redo that. What I'll also say is I have two compost bins at home, which is what I'm suggesting for Curtin. And the reason we do that is because once one compost bin is full, it can take between six weeks and a lot of months to decompose. So you can't just not put your food scraps in the compost for six months. So we have a second one. Okay. I am going to be putting this in here. We've already got some good goodies in there. And now it will be completely full, all nice and chopped up. Another thing we like to do is I buy loose leaf tea from the bulk bin, which I just put in a little jar. This used to be an ice cream container. Now where it's where our loose leaf tea is. And this is because tea and coffee is compostable. So we let it dry out on, on the beans and we pop it in and that's gonna be compostable. Now the one piece of advice that I'll tell you because I have done this numerous times and like gotten my compost and gone, how did it even end up there? Is stickers. Vegetable stickers are the worst. They always end up on my avo peels or my apples and they're plastic so they cannot go in the compost bin. So really be aware of that. What I do as well is things like avocado pips tend to not like composting. Like they'll do it but it's not their favorite thing. So instead, I will put, I'll peel an avocado and I'll put it in some water. This is just, this used to be a chocolate milk container and I'll leave some avocado plants. This is my fifth one and now my family has told me I can no longer uh, make any. <laughs> so I'm gonna give them to my friend. And now they're all composted and our bins are all nice and full. Let's go composting. I've just got you sitting next to the compost bin. So I'm gonna lift the lid up so you just slide it sideways, squish anything else. If it falls out, it falls out. It's compost, it doesn't matter. I'm going to empty my container in, just like so. This is what my compost bin is currently looking like. Almost full, we'll probably stop in a couple weeks and then we'll use the one that is over there. Now I'm going to put the lid back on and I'm going to turn it about 10 times just to really make sure everything's mixed and aerated. So a quick tip for this is if this is the way it was starting to face, make sure that by the time you finish turning it, it is faced up the other way. If you can't get to the gym one day and your compost is full, this is definitely a good exercise for you to fix. And then one more. Okie dokie. That is all ready to go.
I have now spun my compost bin. The next thing I want to do is actually clean my little bins. You can see there's actually a lot of like liquid. Most companies will call this compost tea. And what I'm going to do is just clean it out on here. And I'm actually just going to put it in this little like dead patch because it will help it grow the lawn.